Linda Mudbell was right for Lucas because, like I've been telling you, he needed a different type of teaching. He needed one-on-one -on -one instruction. If you cannot learn like anybody else, if you know that you can read like your friends can read, if you know that you're behind, you're going to feel bad about yourself. You're not going to. You're going to feel that you're not smart. Over the years, I felt like he wasn't learning. He wasn't thriving. He wasn't meeting standards. He was getting pulled out. So essentially, he was in special ed. Last IEP meeting that was in May, I asked him, "Well, what what grade is he in?" I mean, I knew he wasn't, a, you know, he was just finishing seventh grade and they say he's a fifth grade level. And that's when I thought, I have to do something about this. You know, there's just, I cannot do one more year where maybe he'd be in sixth grade. That, I mean, his high school is around the corner. Well, that was horrible because here I am trying to help him, but I can't, you know, I just didn't know how to help him. So I felt really hopeless and helpless that I could not help him. My name is Lucas, I'm 13 different because it's a lot smaller. I like it because um, it a little, it's a little easier for me to just work one-on-one -on -one without like a group of kids. You know, Linda Mudbaugh has this concept of uh, phonemic awareness and reading and comprehension a way that he's never been taught before. He needs to have an image in his mind of what he reads. If they ask him to spell a word, he has to, you know, in the air, spell a word. He is visualizing. So just a different way of teaching. And I could tell right in there that Lucas was doing much better. He could spell, he could uh, read a paragraph and comprehend it, where he probably could not have been able to do that before. This is saving his academic life, or even his life, you know. He needs to feel good about himself. He needs to feel good that we all learn differently and they are teaching him in a way where he can actually learn. When he started at middle school, the night before the first day, he cried. He was really anxious. He didn't want to go to school. He was really afraid. I don't learn. Nobody can teach me. And this went on the night before fifth grade, the night before sixth grade, and the night before seventh grade. But this year, I said, Lucas, get ready. Tomorrow you have school. We're going to the Linda Mood Bell. There was no cry. There was not fear. There was not. So for the first time in three years, he felt good about going to school because he knows they're teaching him. He knows he's learning. So he feels good about himself.